Hello and welcome, Darren William here, back with uh, the final episode of Leveling the Warlock, which came out last week for Dungeons & Dragons Online. Uh, as you can see, I'm still level 16, going to take level 17. Do, 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 advance. And we're going to do Concentration Spellcraft, UMD 42, UMD. Oh, that's just sickening. And Spot, just because. Warlock Feet. Mass Suggestion, that is fairly useful. Wish I'd gotten that earlier, because that would have helped out in the Fleshmaker's Laboratory against those silly air elementals. Um, but Suggestion would work just as fine. Let's see, we get a spell. What should we take? That is a good question. Tensors? Tensors, what would that give us? Uh, that would give us Strength, Dex, and Con. Um, armor Class cooldown of my spells, that is not a huge thing, the cooldown of the spells, because again, I've just been using the blasts rather than a lot of spells. Uh, I have been using the uh, Everd's Black Tentacles, that is actually a pretty interesting spell. Looks cool anyway. So, what should we take here? Hmm. Um, more skilled in combat, doesn't really matter, but the strength dex, it only lasts for a minute though, I don't see myself keeping that up. Shadow Walk, Mind of Fog might be a thing. Globe of Invulnerability, um, more defensive type of a thing. Greater Teleport, <laughs> sure, why not? And we have action points, so let's spend some of those guys. Uh, let's see, how many do I need to spend for this? I need to get 20 points in a tree, so I will not be able to take that, but I will spend some points. I did try out the Eldritch blast shaped cone. I didn't really like it that much. It's okay if you have a lot of guys right in front of you, but for range type of things, uh, to pull them in close, I guess you could use the chain, then switch over to that, the cone. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Feeding Frenzy, Consume. See, I haven't been using this either. I, I mean, it's just, I really haven't felt the need to, to do any of that. So, um, yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I'll go ahead and put some points in just so I can open up another charisma thing, because, let's see, Burning Blood SLA does not matter to me, uh, Blindness is not a big deal, Melee Power, Range Power, Universal Spell Power, that would help my spells, I guess, so let's just go ahead and dump all those, because that uh, also gives me some spell power, and accept and close. Uh, gear, pretty much the same. Uh, the same that I've been using. I've still been trailing a hireling around behind me. I have been using some scrolls though. Look at that, 150% chance to use scrolls, uh, heal scroll. That is nice. Uh, let's see, looking for sissishishish. And we're going to uh, pick out a guy. Let's see, 17, this one. Pick out that. And that's going to be it. Um, for this little bit of the episode, I will obviously do some gameplay and throw some footage in here someplace. Maybe one entire quest and just show that all throughout like I did with Tide's Turn. That was more fun for me. Uh, that way people could go back and look, watch the gameplay if they wanted to, uh, or they could just watch what I'm talking about here in the quest. But I'm going to get started on this quest chain, and after that head out to, I guess, the Vale. Uh, then I have uh, Huilun prison to do. I mean, there's lots of stuff that I could be doing right now, and as you can see, I'm about 520-ish or so, 1,000 XP from Cap, so that is cool. Hi, Fluffy Bunny. Deathy Death. Fluffy Bunny Deathy Death. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to get started on this, and I'll be back in a little bit. And I'm back. Uh, as you can see down here at the bottom, the server is coming down in a bit for a four-hour update or something, so that kind of stinks. I had planned on finishing today, getting all capped and stuff. As you can see, my XP down here, I'm just a little bit over 300k that I need to cap this first lifer. So kind of irritating, but I did get the XP for 18. So let's advance to the next level. Concentration, Spellcraft, UMD, and I was going to put a point into Spot, but Spot is not very useful, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some Jump. Uh, I, even using a, a Spot item, still not able to see the mobs from 
uh, a certain distance. So rather than wasting all these points in here, uh, I'm just going to use it in something that I know is good, which is jump. So there we go. Next, feet. Crap. <laughs> I don't know what to take for feats ever. Um, I think quicken. Mm, uh, I don't really have any self-healing. That's the thing. I have been using some scrolls, not very many, but uh, they do work well. And I think actually eventually at level 20, I'm going to reset my enhancements and put some into the wand and scroll mastery because with the UMD that I have, it's going to be... I'll have a bunch. I'll have a, an absolute bunch of UMD that I can use for everything. So what really, honestly, would I like? Improvemental toughness is a choice. Uh, will saves are fine. Insightful reflexes will not be helpful because my intelligence is not high. Uh, let's see. Medium armor proficiency doesn't matter because that um, would affect my bolty thingy shooty stuff. Quick draw. No. Hmm. Self-sufficient is useless. <laughs> Skull focus UMD for more UMD. I'm all the UMD in the world. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think toughness might be the thing. Spell penetration might be helpful also, just for these uh, single target type of spells. I don't have a problem right now uh, with uh, just shooting stuff in the face or the neck right around the head area with uh, the bolts that I have, so that's good enough DPS for me, at least at the moment. I'm really hoping that this, uh, it's going to be an update, so I just wonder if it is going to nerf the Warlock uh, really badly. Um, I think I'm going to go for toughness, and the reason I'm going to do that is I would still like some more hit points. Those are always good. So there we go. And then it's done. Control R for a little bit of enhancement action. Okay, now we can take this. Uh, gives us a plus 10 maximum depravity, uh, minus 25 maximum hit points. Uh, blast shapes attack 10% faster. That's good. And I get greater heroism. I will definitely take that all day, every day. Uh, what do we have? Energy drain. That is uh, at level 20, so that might be a thing to take. Uh, the feigned health thing is is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Do 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 to do to do to do. Let's go over here because I think I wanted something in this. Ah, uh, the vulnerability thing. Yes, where they take more damage. Mobs take more damage. Let's see. Consume time. I don't care about. Steal life force. It sounds neat. I think. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that, and we'll do a little bit more charisma. And accept and close. Now let's see here. Christmas 33, so one more point uh, from wherever, maybe from the human tree, uh, can get that up to 34. Kind of depends on gear and stuff, honestly. And that's that's way on down the road, really. So that is the leveling process to get to 18. From here on out, it's just all kinds of fun stuff. I ran the Lords of Dust uh, chain on hard. Um, see if I can get a group later for maybe an elite run if we have a trapper because there's no way I'm going to get through that trap. It was hard enough on it was hard enough on hard. Uh, oh, the moon is pretty tonight. But uh, I think what I'm going to be hitting next is probably the Shadowfell stuff because that's fairly quick and easy. Um, again, I have gone all the way through to Evening Star, so... I can't port over there. Well, I could. I could use the Hall of Heroes, or I could log out and log back in because I'm a VIP on this account, so I could do that. But uh, it doesn't really doesn't really matter to me. But uh, I'm going to be doing that stuff, running those uh, those things, and probably self, uh, save blah, 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 probably save Veil for last because I feel like it is really the only reason, but there's so much XP. I could even do some of the level 18 stuff like uh, High Road and, um, oh, what's the one in the harbor now? The Heart of Madness chain. I could probably run that. Um, it's It'd be like a level 19 on hard, no big deal. 
So that's going to be the plan, and I will see you whenever I get, uh, I guess, the XP for 19. It's not going to hurt me to take 19, so might as well take it. Anyway, be back in a bit. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Um, went into the Fashion Madness thing, and this guy's attacking me. Why is that? Why would he be doing that? I got the Elf Hunter, dude. Screw you, hippie. That's what you get. I just got 1800 XP off of you. What do you think about that? Why don't you disintegrate? Turn into black smoke and go away. Do it. Do it now. There you go. Fade away. Filth. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, the maximum XP achieved? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, so I got this done. Advance to the next level of his Warlock. This is going to be level 19 here. Let's see where we're going to go. Concentration, Jump, Spellcraft, UMD. Um, it seemed like out in the Veil of Twilight, when I was running to a quest, that these spiders out there that are normally hidden, I can see some of them. So I'm not sure if that's a spot thing or if that's just nothing. I have no idea. Um, but I'm going to put someone to Jump just because. Let's see. Go to that. And let's see. Power Word Kill very useful. Summon monster, power word stun, uh, burp, burp, burp. I'm not sure if trap the soul is really worth it or not. Symbol of death is good. I think I'm going to take that because that gives negative levels. I'll take that. And now is level 20. Advance to the next level as warlock. We're going to bump up our charisma by one. Go to next. We're going to do Concentration, Jump, Spellcraft, and UMD. 46 UMD is pretty neat. Uh, Warlock Feet, Thought Shield, another plus one to our will saving throws. And we go to next, and we go to finish. And we have a bunch of stuff. And we'll get rid of that. Sorry for all the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, jump cuts. Um, my wife's dog is going insane, and... Uh, I had to stop recording. So we're at enhancements right now, and I will be taking this, the uh, last, I guess. Ooh, somebody leveled. Good job, Mr. Guy. So I'll be taking that definitely. So what do I want to take here? Uh, I have to spend how many? 40 points. So three more points in this tree, which shouldn't be too difficult, really. Stunning Blast, uh, Stunning Target into Helpless. Okay, I think that's only one guy. Um, attack an enemy with an Eldritch Blast. So only one guy. Uh, let's see. Spell points. I think I'm good on spell points, honestly, because of the mental toughness that I had been taking. So let's see. We get uh, spell focus. We looked at that before. I'm not interested in. Uh, spell DCs might be a thing. Uh, heighten might also be a thing just for the Evards uh, thing here that I have. I do have that heightened uh, all the time. It's decent. So let's see. Oh, I want to take the last rank in that. Uh, this will give me a bonus uh, equal to 100% of my charisma for three minutes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but since I don't have very many hit points to begin with, probably need to do that. Uh, one in scroll mastery. This is something I usually do not take, but I might put at least a point into it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, because I will be trying to self-heal, if at all possible, instead of carrying around a, a dude. Um, I talked about taking this line here, uh, the mass confusion and things like that. I think it would be funny just to see it. So uh, I think I'm going to put some points into this. We'll go ahead and take this as well. This will give me plus four to my charisma, which is insane plus one to my spell pin, and plus ten to my maximum depravity. Uh, I also get energy drain as a spell. So this guy, good lord. He must have purchased an autos box or something, uh, which is on sale right now in the DDO store until July the 6th. Um, let's see. So let's, uh, let's see, 3% to confuse, non-boss monsters, six seconds. Yeah, let's do that. And let's put a point into this. I'll probably probably reset all these at some point. I just want to try some things out and see 
what they look like. I've not put any points at all into this because these are all kind of aura uh, based and it's not really my style since I am casting instead of doing melee stuff. So we have, what, five points to spend. Um, let's see, to get the higher tiers here, uh, I have to put points into this. And let's see, let's just do that. And put one more point into mass confusion. Why not? And we'll accept and close because it doesn't really matter because I can always reset my enhancements if I need to. Uh, now, one thing I'm going to do is run over my mouth, and I'm going to speak with the f uh, Fate Spinner because I wanted to see if I could get Shirati immediately. I'd like to manipulate my destiny. Nope, looks like I have to pick one out from here. I cannot do Shirati, so that is disappointing. That is very disappointing. So to get there more quickly, I would have to go into Fate Singer and then Shadow Dancer and then all the way up to Dreadnought, and then over to Shirati. Uh, I think Shirati would be good for this, um, just because I I like the procs and things. So we'll go ahead and do that, claim the destiny. Yes, we will do it. So now any XP that I get will go towards that. My plan for now is to get this last episode up on Saturday. Um, Whenever I get caught up on things sometime next week, I will be... That guy cannot jump. Dude. I wish I had a jump spell for you. Yeah, just go around. Did you see that guy over there? Okay, this is about the third time I've tried to record this, because between stifling yawns and coughing my head off, uh, it's been a chore. Let's... Oh, God, somebody turned the lights out. Holy crap. Uh... Primary stats, Constitution, Charisma, because I am a caster, and the Charisma is the the uh, primary stat for a Warlock Constitution, so that I have some hit points. Uh, my saving throws, Will Save is obviously really high, and that's because I got a lot of bonuses while leveling uh, from my Pact uh, automatic feats that I received. So this is the reason why I have so many additional uh, items, uh, or additional... Uh, things. Uh, you can also see that it says 14 Charisma mod. It adds in that because I took Force of Personality, so my will save is huge. Reflex saves stink. Um, no way around it. It's just awful. Uh, f excuse me, Fortitude save, also not that, not that great. I have quite a few spell points, and hit points at least in my opinion. Uh, when I cast a spell on myself, like that, that will give me additional hit points, which is really, really nice. Skills uh, were concentration, a little bit in jump, some in spot. I kind of gave up on that. Um, spellcraft, and of course, use magic device. Uh, 48 UMD is dumb, just straight up dumb. Um, I can bump it up one more with that. If I had a golden cartouche, uh, that would be a plus three to give me. Uh, 51, so lots of UMD for all kinds of scrolls. Uh, obviously, I have a huge chance, 145% chance to activate a heal scroll. So, obviously, no fail there. That's a given. Let's see. Feats. I took a lot of toughness. Alright, I got three times I took that. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Warlock feats. These are all the things that I, I never used this. I never did the create thrall thing. Uh, deceive item, that is where it gives you a plus five to your uh, UMD. So my UMD is like huge. Uh, let's see, I took maximize uh, mental toughness. Um, extend, extend was very useful for the buffs. And again, since I'm now level 20, some feat swaps could happen, just depending. Uh, let's see, some spells. These are all the spells that I have. I chose Night Shield and Resist Energy. I uh, res uh, chose Blur, and I think it was Invis that I chose as well. I got Crushing Despair just because uh, from the Pact stuff. Um, I chose Displacement, and I think I chose Innervation because I got Phantasmal Killer free of charge. Death Ward was also a freebie, 
uh, dominant person was a freebie. I chose Dimin or I teleport, and I chose uh, Evard's Black Tentacles. Uh, Finger of Death, Greater Heroism, Greater Teleport, and Mass Suggestion. Uh, I chose Finger of Death, and I chose Greater Teleport. Uh, power Word Kill. Uh, I think that was a chosen spell. I just did this a minute ago. Well, the Banshee. Hi, do you want to do Sentinels on Epic Elite 4 BB? No, because I'm trying to record right now. Holy crap. So these are the spells that I have loaded. Uh, might not be optimal, but and some of them I didn't use that much, but uh, this is what I have. Uh, Featherfall is nice, by the way. Um, let's see, enhancements. All the enhancements in the entire world. Some of them that I haven't even really used. Crafting, nothing. So that is pretty much it. While playing and leveling up, as soon as I got the Eldritch Blast uh, chain, I use that for trash mobs, and then whenever I go into a boss fight, I'll either switch over to the Focused, or I'll switch over to the Innervating Shadow thing. Uh, that's good for, like, orange names because of the uh, neg levels that it has a possibility to give. One thing I have noticed is when switching between any of these, it is a pain in the neck because uh, you'll not be able to fire for a while. It's like it's catching up with you or something. I don't know why that is, but uh, it got into not really hairy situations, but just, okay, these guys would have been dead by now if I'd been able to flip over like I had, you know, had wanted to. So I don't know if that's just a bug or if, if the cooldown like that is supposed to be like that. I have no idea. I really do not know. Uh, quality of life thing that I did on this character is I took the Dragon Mark of Passage, which uh, gave me the Expeditious Retreat, and the Dimension Door Clicky. That is obviously a feat that you can choose something else, but I got used to it, and I really like having that on a human character. So that is pretty much going to be it. This is all for the heroic levels. Um, Playstyle, stay away from monsters, shoot them in the face, and maybe try these spells out uh, whenever you get a chance to. I didn't rely on these very much, I just wanted to see the, the actual blast damage, so that's pretty much what I did. There are lots of different ways you could make a warlock, um, really, I mean, as far as the enhancements go, uh, the things you could take. The aura would be a thing for melees, so that's something to consider. Uh, I like ranged combat just to stay away from mobs. So the further away I am, the better for me. So uh, that's why I chose to do just a pure ranged based uh, type of, of character. So that is going to be it. I might put a video out sometime next week uh, with epic stuff in it. I'm not really sure. Uh, at this point, I think this final video is going to be going up on Saturday and the previous one was supposed to go up on Friday. So back-to-back -back episodes there, but I wanted to get them out as soon as possible. If I happen to have a chance to do anything at all on this character, I will record some gameplay and uh, throw it up on my channel. So uh, be sure to check that out sometime, oh, latter part of next week maybe, see if there's anything up. But I have so many other projects going on right now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to to hack it or not. I have my main to cap. I have some crafting to do for the character that's currently in a static group. So all kinds of things. Plus there's work and food and going to the bathroom and hygiene. I mean, it's stuff. All kinds of stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed this series. If you have any questions um, about the Warlock, be sure to ask somebody that knows, because I have the slightest idea. Now, if you if you have any questions, uh, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, this was... It took longer than I thought it was going to, just because of real-life things going on. But uh, I capped in a week. This is the fastest I've ever capped a character, uh, first lifer anyway. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and ask me, and I will... I will try to help as much as possible, or at least send you in the right direction so that you can get the answers that, uh, that you, the answers that you seek. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Dirty William, reminding you to do the dirty work. Yeah.